What's up, Rim team? I'm Trini Sanderson. You're tuning into the infamous Living Rim Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. What's up, millennials? Well, if you're not millennial, I'm assuming you want to know more about millennials or you want to know exactly why millennials don't want to settle for the workforce. You know, millennials just tend to always want to be so courageous and just move from job to job to job and they don't believe in staying at a job for 10 years you know they don't believe working for somebody else a lot of millennials have a problem with uh being led by a boss and stuff like that you know just all kind of problems with this new generation of millennials that we have um and so i had a conversation with a great friend of mine a really great friend of mine that inspired me to actually make this topic and we talked about how today's generation differs a lot from the past generation one thing that we understand in our in our generation today is that things are a lot more fast paced than ever before i mean you got new companies and stuff popping up all over the place you know you got more technology and more information is available to younger people than in the ever before uh once upon a time you know the generations before us didn't have you know technology like we have today therefore they wasn't allowed to receive the type of information that these kids nowadays are growing up to realize and discover about a lot of things that mom and dad didn't know when they were growing up so you know the millennials are a very privileged breed and maybe you are a millennial because i too am a millennial and we always say that we want to make ourselves better we want to make other people's lives better and the world a better place. That's how most millennials think. You know, most millennials think, you know, with a creative mentality. So it's kind of hard to put us in a category of, you know, just being comfortable with just one thing or just being stagnant here at this job. So, you know, why millennials don't want to settle in the workforce? It's all around. It seems as if the generation before us, like moms and dads and stuff like that, you know, the only thing that they taught us to do was go to college get out of college get a job that's it that that is practically it and whether you go to school to get an associate's degree a bachelor's degree or a phd if you stayed and got a master's whatever the situation may be it was just always go to college and get a job but no one well maybe some of you did but rarely did parents in that time in the generation before us that they can create their own company. It was like an impossible thing to fathom. You know, it seems like when I was younger, the only thing I, I knew was work, work, work. You know, and that's all I knew was to go to work, go to work, go to work. And working is a great thing because that's what makes the world go around. You know, finances, currency, money, and just working. I mean, you have to always be serving uh, the universe. You have to always be, you know, giving and, and helping out in, in, in all the ways that you can around you because that's what helps everybody else out. You know, that's what you do. You help other people's lives out. That's what life is all about. Life is all about giving back. Like, for instance, what I'm doing right now is a form of giving back. So you have to find what it is about you that you can do to give back to society and the universe around you. You know, and this is how millennials think. We're trying to find ways to help ourselves be more happier and more fulfilled as well as other people's lives more happier and more fulfilled. And, you know, that's just, that's just simple. It's just a simple thing to understand. You know, millennials do not want to work at a company that does not take pride in the employee. Millennials think like, why do I have to get up every day and go to work? you know, every single day for a paycheck when I can just write my own paycheck? Why do I have to go to a job every day and, and, and adhere to a boss when I feel like a leader myself? You know, and like I said, that's that's why I think that a lot of kids don't do well in school. You know, that's why I believe, I personally believe that a lot of kids misbehave in school, not only because, you know, there are problems going on in the household, but simply because, you know, it's a new generation. You know, it's a new generation arising and they are just not interested in going to school to learn math, science, social studies and stuff like that. I mean, it's a necessity to know that stuff because you want to know your history and whatnot. But what good is that when we have, you know, outlets like Google 
search engines where you can just search anything in the whole wide world or you can just go to YouTube and, and see real reality for what it really is. You know, that's how millennials see the reality that we live in. It's like, why should we do this when reality is telling us that we must be this way in order to survive? You know, and this is realistic over here. This is nonfiction. What I'm dealing with outside of school, what I'm dealing with outside of work, that's reality for me as a millennial. And so that's why most millennials do not come fine. Most millennials do not want to follow the trends. You know, they always want to be the outcast. They always want to be different. We always see ourselves as creators. You know, people that want to make something out of nothing versus, you know, working for something that we did not create ourselves. So being a millennial, I know exactly how you feel. It's a lot of pressure on you because you tend to see life in a different perspective. You know, it's not that you don't want to work. You know, it's not that you don't want to, you know, uh, have money to pay bills and stuff like that. You just have a different way of seeing things and you have people around you that really aren't doing anything with their lives other than just working and they want you to be just like them. They want you to work at the same place that they worked at. They want you to only just think about bringing home a paycheck versus being an entrepreneur, you know, versus being a talented creator, you know, versus being a YouTuber or something. And you just, it just, it just doesn't fly with you. And so, you know, like I said, that's one of the main things I think that we're dealing with in our world today, which is why it has become so divided because you have a new type of, uh, millennial that is being born into the world and they do not want to do things the traditional way anymore they, they just don't want to do things the old way anymore and you have a lot of people who see the perception and the perspective of doing things the old way better than better than change and evolution that's what life is all about that's what God is all about it's all about change growth progression but we as a society we as mankind can never grow and progress and become better than we were yesterday if we're always clinging on to the old way of doing things and seeing how we should work together. So millennial, do, do not feel depressed. It's, it's normal to feel depressed, but do not get stressed out over people around you who don't see things your way. You know, just because you have a, a much more vivid, much more lucid imagination, you have to give the people around us time because over time, things will change. Things always work out for your good. You know, it's all about making yourself better so that you can make other people's lives better and the world a better place. And as long as you think like that, the universe is gonna always give you what you want as a millennial because the universe is always growing. The universe is always going forward. The world will never end. That's just the old traditional way of thinking about life because some people just live miserable lifestyles. They're not happy getting the things that they want. They work in the work in the work in the workforce, which is cool, which is good. You know, it's enough money to pay bills and to make sure you have food on the table for the kids and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, as a millennial, we question this stuff and say, "What are we really here for, Mom, Dad? What are you really here for? You know, what are you really here for? Do you have a purpose? Do I have a purpose?" Did you explain this purpose to me when I was younger? Did you see life as a you know, much bigger platform to be a creator? Or did you just want me to just go to school, get an education, then what, get a job? Working for a company that doesn't have my best interests at heart? You know, working for a company or in a workforce when working my hardest when they don't wanna give you a raise? But you've been there 18 years? They don't wanna give you a promotion? You know, they don't want to award you for the hard work and effort that you do every single day? We don't want to work in a workforce. That's just what millennials think. That's how millennials process things. If you're watching this video and you're not a millennial, just know that these are very smart, talented individuals that are growing up nowadays. Your kids, if you have kids, they are going to be way much smarter than you are. They're going to be way much smarter than you ever have been when they get your age because information, technology, is moving rapidly and it's going upward and it's, things becoming better, faster, stronger, quicker. You know, it's almost like overnight that we just got the cell phone. You call it uh, the rotary phone, you know, once upon a time. You know, I remember it was just yesterday where we had to go buy CDs at the store. Now we can just listen to iTunes, 
You know, now we can just listen to SoundCloud. Now we can just go to YouTube and just, bing, there's the music. Any type of music you want. Most, most of the time it's for free. You don't even have to pay for it. You know, once upon a time, I remember the only thing I had to do was just make sure I go to school, make really, really good grades, get out, go to, go to college, make really good grades there, get out and um, go find a job making big amounts of money. But you can't make big amounts of money when the economy is crashing, you know, or you're in a Great Depression or you're in a recession because it sets everything back as Realm team members. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm Trenton Sanderson of the infamous Living Realm Network. Millennials in the workforce. Why? We won't settle for less. Make sure you share this video with some of your friends so that they can hear about the things the millennials go through and maybe, you know, get some help on how to go about their life and how to manage, you know, through the lifestyle that they're living. Also, make sure that you like this video and make sure you leave a comment below and tell us what you think about millennials in the workforce. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. In the meantime, I'll see you next time in 24 hours. Peace.